In this video, I want to share with you my top three biggest takeaways from attempting the 75 day hard challenge. First things first, I don't believe in failure. I believe as long as we learn something from the experience and take it away and apply it to what we're going to do in the future, there is no failure there. It's only a learning process. It's only going to move us closer to what we really want to accomplish. I didn't make it through the full 75 day challenge, but I did have three big major takeaways that I want to share with you. So the first major takeaway that I've learned from attempting the 75 day hard challenge is to time block my schedule and become super disciplined with that schedule. In the past, I would just have my meetings and kind of have a to-do list of things I had to get done that day, but I wouldn't really plan out exactly when I was going to do it. So now with how many things that you have to do in that 75 day hard challenge, I've really had to time block my schedule. So it's forced me to become extremely organized with my day. So time blocking has been a huge game changer when it comes to my daily routine and getting things done. Second major takeaway is not drinking. Dun, dun, dun. I live in Miami. There's always, always, always something to do. Saying no to a lot of social events. I will say that I haven't been going out nearly as much, but at the same time, I'm so much happier and so much more productive and getting things done. This has been a huge game changer as just saying no to the things that you know aren't gonna serve you the next day and always know that there is gonna be another party, another gathering, another chance to socialize with your friends. So if you miss a few here and there, it's not the end of the world. And I truly believe being so disciplined has allowed me to step into becoming the greatest version of myself. I know that when I'm personally happiest is when I know I'm giving it my all to anything I'm doing. I know that I'm doing my best and I'm putting 100% of my being into something. If you're drinking or not structured or scheduled, a lot of times you're just not giving it your all. You're half-assing. You're not living to your fullest potential. So what I truly feel is by being super structured and disciplined, it's just allowed me to be the best version of myself that I can be. And when you can see that and live in it, it also makes you realize that, hey, there's another level I can get to. There's another space I can get to right here. It doesn't just stop here. It's not just, oh, I wake up now every day and I'm the greatest version of myself. No, I'm still continuously working at myself every single day. And the third biggest takeaway that I am getting from attempting this 75 day hard challenge is to listen to my body. I have always been super intuitive and I do believe that I've already listened to my body, but attempting this two a day workouts, I mean, I don't know about you, but eh, eh, it is not for me. So when it comes to my workouts, I'm learning that working out once a day definitely suffices. I'm learning that going for walks has really helped to clear my mind. And instead of at the end of a long day thinking, oh, I could really use a glass of wine. Instead, I literally have rewired my brain to think, oh wow, I wanna go for a walk right now and de-stress that way. Be out in this beautiful Miami weather in the sunshine. It's just incredible. Why would I want to cloud up my mind with a glass of wine when I can go for a walk and really clear my mind and breathe in some fresh air? Overdoing it and stressing your body out also isn't good. It has to be things that work for your body. So that's what I mean by listening to your body. That would be doing yoga and stretching as one workout and then maybe going for a walk or doing some weights. It doesn't mean that for both workouts that I have to be doing sprinting down the sidewalk and then also weights. That's just very overbearing, at least on my body, and it isn't realistic. So it's also allowed me to set realistic goals when it comes to my body and just really listen to it so I don't hurt it. Oh, another huge thing that I have been doing is I have been sticking to drinking my water. I have not been drinking two of these a day, but I'm at least drinking one, which is a lot more than I was doing before. At least if I get one of these down, that is so much more water than I used to be drinking. So I'm proud of myself for that. So those were the three biggest takeaways that I got from attempting the 75 day hard challenge. Remember that there is no failure as long as you're taking something positive away from it, that you're learning something from every experience and then applying it to your life later, there is no failure. It's only failing forward into being the greatest version of yourself. If you liked this video, please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you're not missing any future videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Time, it's a time. You're doing freaking great.